What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Up. We're doing another reaction video of Hunting Simulator 2. They're showing us yet another trailer, kind of emphasizing the hunting dog, and I promise I won't talk in the middle of this one. So let's go ahead and watch it. Let's see what uh, they have to say. We'll comment down below. We'll comment in the video and uh, have a nice little discussion about it. Let's see what they have to say. Hi everyone, and welcome to our first video introducing the features of Hunting Simulator 2. For the first time in a long while in a hunting game, you can take a dog with you to help track down prey. Purchase a dog directly from the store you can access from your lodge. Give your new dog a name and train them to be your faithful companion for your hunts. You can choose from three dog breeds in the game each with its own specific hunting attributes. Choose between a Beagle, Labrador Retriever, and German Short-Haired Pointer. Each breed specializes in hunting certain types of prey. Beagles belong to the hound family and can track and flush out prey, which help you approach and shoot them. Labrador Retrievers will retrieve shot birds from water and are therefore especially suited to hunting waterfowl, like teal and barnacle geese. German short-haired pointers are a pointing breed and therefore ideal when hunting smaller prey that are difficult to spot. In Hunting Simulator 2, your prey's tracks blend into the environment just like in real life. That's why it's essential to bring your dog on your hunting trips. Give them the command to find a track and they will get to work around you. There are multiple commands you can give your dog. As well as tracking, you can also ask them to wait. Come back quickly to you, flush out prey, or retrieve a trophy, depending on the breed. When you command them to follow a track, keep a close eye on their reactions. If they stop with their head raised or bark at you, they may have found what you're looking for. Once your dog is on the trail of game, stroke them to reward them. The more your companion finds tracks and is rewarded by you, the better their tracking skills will become. This means you will find it easier to find new prey. You then just need to aim and take the perfect shot. If you shoot an animal but it runs off, command your dog to follow the blood tracks to find the trophy or to approach and shoot again. Thanks for watching. Follow us on social media for more information on Hunting Simulator 2. Till next time. All right, well, I'm sure you all have your thoughts about that. That was pretty entertaining. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think the first video had like 50,000 views, the one posted from Hunting Simulator 2, so I'm sure one or two of you, if not three of you of the 50,000 have some thoughts about this. So uh, let's uh, let's comment on some of the stuff in the video and then you tell me down below what you think about it all. Um, I'm eager to hear what you all have to think, but let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh, video once again. All right. Hi everyone, and welcome to our first video introducing the features of Hunting Simulator 2. For the first time in a long while in a hunting game. First time in a long a while. To help track down prey. Purchase a dog directly from the store you can access from your lodge. Okay, so right there, that was kind of interesting. What, what is it with? Uh, there's only three types of dogs, right? So there's a beagle, there's a, uh, a Labrador retriever, and then a German short hair. Yet there's five different dogs. Is there going to be... The only thing I can think of at this point, you comment down below, like I said, comment about anything. To comment about my hair. Does it drive you insane? Um, yellow lab, chocolate lab, black lab, German short hair, beagle. What do you think? That's what I have to think about that. Five dogs. Um, they all look kind of the same. They have this pit bull shape, and then they have this beagle shape. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it could, it could be a lab shape. Hey, actually, my video. Look at this. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Let me move my uh, my video there, so you can see. These are three labs, and then we have the German short hair in the bottom left. So there you go. 
you can see it was my mistake as well. So there are three labs and then one German shorthead. So I would say I would have to be correct on that. Well, let's uh, let's continue on and see what we think. Give your new dog a name and train them to be your faithful companion. You can Dawog. choose from three dog breeds in the game, each with its own specific hunting attributes. Choose between a Beagle, Labrador Retriever, and German Short-Haired Pointer. Each breed specializes in hunting certain types of prey. Beagles belong to the Hound family and can track and flush out prey. Interesting factoid, Beagles part of the Hound family. I have a Norwegian elk hound, not part of the hound family. It's a it's a translation error. Is is elkhund, which is a moose dog, and so everyone thinks he's a hound because in English we call him an elk hound, but he's a, he's actually not part of that uh, the hound family. But he is a good moose dog. <laughs> let's uh sorry that was a that was a weird tangent. Well, let's keep going. Which help you approach and shoot them. Labrador retrievers will retrieve shot birds from water. And are That's huge. Especially suited to hunting waterfowl, like teal and barnacle geese. German short-haired pointers are barnacle geese, and therefore ideal when hunting smaller prey that are difficult to spot. I am excited about that guy. Simulator two, your prey's tracks blend into the environment just like in real life. The dogs don't look amazing. They look like dogs. I mean, I understand that they look like dogs, and uh, that they are dogs, but they they aren't amazing. Um, yeah. That's why it's essential to bring your dog on your hunting trips. Give them the command to find a track, and they will get to work around you. This bothered me. You know, you think about Labrador Retriever. It's good at uh, getting waterfowl out of the water. You got the uh, the German short hair, which will point at pheasants and whatnot that are hiding in the grass, um, allow you to get them. Um, and then the beagle tracks game, and uh, and then once it gets really close, it just barks at it, which usually ends up scaring the animal. So the only thing the beagle really has going for it is that it tracks game. Yet, we see here that there's a, a chocolate lab tracking game. So, so what's the point of the beagle? If all the dogs can track game, can the beagle just track game better? I'm, I'm interested to see what exactly that all ends up being. There are multiple commands you can give your dog. As well as tracking, you can also ask them to wait. Come back quickly to you. Flush out prey or retrieve a trophy depending on the breed. When you command them to follow a track, keep a close eye on their reactions. If they stop with their head raised or bark at you, they may have found what you're looking for. Once your dog is on the trail of game, stroke them to reward them. Stroke the them to reward them. finds tracks and is rewarded by you, the better their tracking skills will become. This means you will find it easier to find new prey. Okay, this whole skill thing, I actually do like. It kind of, it, it really allows you to kind of invest your time in the dog. You know, if you're spending time with them and they get better at, the, you're, you're training them basically. And that's pretty cool. I remember when the expertise of the, uh, the little beagle, when we were first starting hunting, he just kept losing the tracks and it was driving me insane. And I was like, what is the point? of your existence you keep losing the tracks like and we were of course hunting in roosevelt forest it was a nightmare but uh yeah the skills are really cool it uh, allows you to, to spend time with a certain certain dog and uh, get their skills up i really enjoy that i think it's really cool you then just need to aim and take the perfect shot oh i love this scene if you <laughs> And they cut away from it so fast, but the shotguns do not have very good range. They have horrible range. And so you can see here, they even the person in the video shot this duck, and, uh, and it didn't get a good shot on it. So, you know, that's hilarious to me because I'm annoyed with the range of the shotgun, and even in their trailer, they, uh, they, they didn't show very good range or a good shot on a duck. Instead, the entire flock just flies away, and they just cut to the deer really quickly so you don't see it. If you shoot an animal, but it runs off, 
Command your dog to follow the blood tracks to find the trophy. Yeah, you German short haired, follow this blood again. track, which is the Beagle's job. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, that is, um, to those of you asking about whitetail and mule deer, that's pretty much a max size whitetail right there. That's, that's pretty much as big as they get. Um, I've seen comments where people were asking, how big do the whitetail get? Can you show me like a monster whitetail? Like this is, this is basically it. Like this is as big as they get. Um, I shot a mature mule deer and unless they have something hiding in the game, like they have the, the young, the adult and the mature, and then they have like a monster or something like that. That's really hard to find. Um, I'm guessing this is about as good as you're going to get. So that's, that's about it. I do have a mule deer and whitetail video coming out soon. Um, it might be paired with something else, so we'll just see how that turns out. Thanks for watching. Follow us on social media for more information on Hunting Simulator 2. Hunting Simulator next 2. Time. That's really interesting, because I remember watching it a little while ago, and actually a PS4 version showed up there, so that, that is really cool. Okay, so interested to see what you all have to think about this whole uh, dog hunting uh, sort of business. I think it's really interesting between the Beagle and the Short Hair and the Labrador Retriever. You know, you got the Duck Dog, you got the Pheasant Dog, pretty much. Um, and then you have the Beagle, which is kind of your big game dog. But the Beagle just tracks animals and then tracks blood. But it also seems like the Labrador and the short hair do it. So it makes you wonder if like the, the Beagle is going to be something you start out with and then you just upgrade up to a Labrador or a short hair and then you never see the Beagle ever again. Or if, uh, you know, maybe the the expertise of the short hair and the uh, Labrador don't even include tracking, so they just lose the track really easily. I will be interested to see how that all turns out. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that that will probably be what they decide to do? You know, the Labrador and the short hair just lose the tracks really easily versus the Beagle who, you know, can keep up a track, you know, Roosevelt, you know, in Roosevelt Forest when they're tracking, you know, grizzlies for, you know, what seems like miles, goodness gracious, just goes on forever. You know, well, the German short hair and the Labrador lose it really easily versus the Beagle who stays on track. Um, that will be pretty cool. But, you know, in the press release, I never got to use the short hair or the Labrador. I was really disappointed by that because I had so many geese and ducks that landed in the water and I could, I, there was nothing I could do. My Beagle... Uh, would go in the water and like swim around and I'd be like ah oh, just pick up that freaking goose or whatever it was um, and I, I couldn't do anything about it but yeah um, yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it I mean I, you know the dog models don't look great but you know they're dogs like we get that they're dogs the the other animals in the game look pretty meh that like they're like we can tell what they are that does the that does the job they don't look horrible um, and the dogs are the same way. They don't look horrible. We can tell they're dogs. Um, we can even tell what kind of breed they are. I was actually looking up, because I remember when I was growing up, I had a German short hair. And I was like, that short hair doesn't look like my short hair I had growing up. But there's like six different types of short hair, like based off of their spots and their, like, the, whether they have the liver saddle or all of that. So that, that was really interesting to kind of look up and learn more about the short hair. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you think down below. Are you excited to hunt with these dogs? And uh, which, in particular, are you excited to hunt with? Do you have a Labrador or a German short hair in real life? Tell me about it down in the comments. And make sure you join the BZ Hub Discord so that we can talk about this later down the line. Uh, maybe you'll have some awesome hunting picks down the line with your uh, short hair or your Labrador after you get a bunch of ducks or something like that. Post it in the comments on the discord really appreciate it all of you watching right now um tell me how the weather is how's the weather for all of you who made it this far huh mm -hmm. little hidden question there uh we'll see who paid attention <laughs> hey thank you for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already i'm just gonna keep pointing at you just keep pointing at you and let the camera just refocus um but yeah like and subscribe and as always, hunters, keep gaming, never stop.